But uh, the the book we wanted to bring the book up uh, as as a promotion for for you, um, the art of SEO, and this is third edition uh, from O'Reilly Publishers. Can you take uh, talked about that book? You certainly were a co-author on that. Give us a perspective of of that because it. I mean, literally, we uh, we at the Cytratidas have had this for years, mm-hmm. um, and, and it's a fantastic textbook. Literally of of SEO, and it was definitive uh, for its time. There's, there was no other book like this uh, when it came out. <laughs> Give us an idea of of, of the or, the origin of that. Sure. Well, the origin was um, I was invited to attend something called Foo Camp, which is put on by O'Reilly uh, Media, and it's where they they bring folks out um, to their campus in Sebastopol to camp out in tents in their apple orchard. And um, it was my first time being invited, and I was there. Matt Cutts was there. Danny Sullivan was there. A few other folks. I think even... Um, it's like think SEO it was, Eden or something? It, it, it was kind of like that. Literally, there were apple trees around the tent. And, um, yeah, and, and Larry actually flew in on his helicopter and landed in the middle of the orchard. That was kind of like the highlight of everyone's experience. Um, wow. So it was at that event that... Um, Someone from O'Reilly approached me because I had done a presentation with Danny and Matt on the whiteboard. It was very informal, the presentation process for attendees. You just kind of put your name in a time slot, and you stood up there, and so we all did this presentation. And um, afterwards, I was approached by someone from O'Reilly and asked if I wanted to author The the Art of SEO. And I graciously accepted, was super excited, and about six months into the process, realized that it was just so big and so overwhelming, and I there was no way I could continue to run Alchemist and take care of my own personal health and do this book justice, because what I wanted it to be was this referendum, <laughs> this very big treatise on SEO that could be used in universities and colleges and right, could be right. used in organizations that uh, could be referenced as like the guidebook, at least up until that point. And so O'Reilly and I got into discussions about bringing other authors in and who we bring in, and we wound up getting Rand and Stefan and Eric, mm-hmm. and, and that's had the origin, and that's where things started. From there, uh, you know, so I had basically built out the structure and, the, and the, the spine and gotten started on it, but I really hadn't, in earnest, you know, finished a chapter because <laughs> there was just okay. so much information, and in a CEO, you kind of jump from one thing to another. Um, so we obviously got the first edition done and then updated it. That was in 2009, updated it in 2012, and then, um, you know, we just put out the last third edition in the fall. And it's, I think it's close, it's about 900 something pages. It's almost a thousand pages at this point. O'Reilly actually made us take out a good chunk of content what? because it was just too big. Um, what was and the, they, what are the missing chapters? <laughs> like the the missing Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. We could. How to host that. a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was there all the time. <laughs> yeah, but, but the crazy thing about the book was, as you know, SEO is always evolving. And every time we thought we were done last year, yeah. there was some new, like, like Google Webmaster Tools got renamed to Google Search Console for right. the first time in how many years, right? Yep, so yep, we had yep. to go through the whole book and update those references and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's been very well received and it is used in a lot of universities. And um, you know, I feel like it's done what I intended for it to be. It's become that uh, it's as in terms of a reference manual that people trust. And yeah, I'm sure things have changed since it's been printed, but every book on SEO is going to have that. Um, but that just means that there's more for us to update it with in the next edition. Yeah, so what are some of the updates that are in this, this third edition versus the second? Um, let's see. Well, we added a lot of content around um, the penalty situations with Panda and Penguin and penalties, uh, a lot more content around mobile um, content marketing, link, how linking had changed because of Panda. You know, so I'd say those are the, the big bulky changes that added you know, a lot more pages to the book because there was just so much that had happened between 2012, as you know, with Penguin, and 2015. Um, So, yeah, and then really just updating a lot of the um, aspects of SEO as well as aspects of technology that had evolved so that, um, you know, we could be current and discuss things like app indexing and deep linking and, and things like that. 